AM Vintage is proud to bring you a tour of Elvis Presley's teenage home, Lauderdale Courts in Memphis, Tennessee. Tours are given twice a year during Elvis's birthday month and Elvis week in August. But that's not all. For the true Elvis lovers and those seeking a unique getaway, the Presley family apartment is available for overnight stays throughout the year. Imagine sleeping under the same roof where Elvis himself once dreamed and strummed his guitar. Well, folks, are you ready for your private tour? Well, then lace up those blue suede shoes and let's rock and roll. Second only to Graceland, Lauderdale Courts is the Memphis home Elvis lived in the longest, from September 1949 to January 1953. Elvis Presley and his parents, Gladys and Vernon, lived at 185 Winchester, apartment 328 in Lauderdale Courts. The Courts proved to be a pivotal place for Elvis as he developed his unique style, for it was here where a shy Elvis would practice the guitar in the basement laundry room. He would also meet and play with other musicians who lived in the courts. Elvis would stroll to nearby Beale Street and gain inspiration from the famous blues artists. You could find him listening to records at Poplar Tunes record store around the corner, and Sun Studio was just over a mile away. It was here, in this close-knit community, that Elvis met girlfriends, attended Hume's High, and developed as a performer. More importantly, it was here where Elvis would garner the affirmation of friends and neighbors as he performed in the wonderfully designed communal courtyards and mall of Lauderdale Courts. Scheduled for the wrecking ball in the mid-90s, Elvis's teenage home was saved by the efforts of Elvis fans, Memphis Heritage Preservation Organization, the City of Memphis, and Memphis developers Jack Bells and Henry Turley. On the National Register of Historic Places, Lauderdale Courts now, renamed Uptown Square, has been renovated to become downtown Memphis's hippest new address. It is part of the innovative Uptown Memphis development. In September of 1949, the Presleys moved into Lauderdale Courts at 185 Winchester, number 328. Since moving from Tupelo, Mississippi, they had lived in a series of rooming house apartments in the Uptown area prior to being accepted by the Memphis Housing Authority.
To be eligible for public housing at the time, a family's combined income could not exceed $3,000 per year. The Presleys paid $35 a month rent. At the time they moved in, there was no air conditioning and only radiator heat. Among their belongings listed on their move-in report were two small table fans, a radio, a trunk, and some paperwork. Elvis had the larger room with a view of 3rd Street. He would be seen many an afternoon sitting in the window playing his guitar. Gladys would indulge her only son by allowing him to maintain his own separate set of dishes and silverware. A shy Elvis would also practice his guitar in the basement laundry room, directly below their apartment. Elvis eventually made friends and worked up the courage to entertain the neighbors in the complex's communal courtyards and the grassy market mall. These were some of the first stages from which he would perform. We would like to thank you very much for joining AM Vintage on this tour of Lauderdale Courts. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.